So, you live in the ruins? Yes, it makes it easier to defend the core of the mountain from wrongdoers outside. Most of the monsters decided to live deeper in the mountain. Do they stay in the mountain? Not many. There are many tunnels and shortcuts that lead to the outside. Oh, I think we found one of them in Waterfall. Ah, yes, one of the more dangerous ones. Probably best that children didn't use that one. There are many other safer ones. Yeah. Um, when you say you're defending the core of the mountain, do you mean THE core? Like, past Hotland? Yes, humans have been rather curious about our energy source. They would like to have it as well. Why don't we maybe share some with the humans? That's what we did in our world. Ah, we are of the same mind then. Um, if you could, please keep your voice down in this hole. The echo flowers kind of creep me out, so I'd like to keep them quiet. I have suggested that. Unfortunately, I was told it was more complicated than that. Gasta had only intended monsters to use our energy, not humans. Gaster? Who's Gaster? Um... Uh, hey, look! There's our house! What a relief! You live here? Yes, both my brother and I. The king and queen used to live here long ago, actually. Why are there echo flowers everywhere? That... is an excellent question. Does your world not have them everywhere? No, just in Waterfall. Shame. I would have much preferred that. Anyway... Welcome to our humble home. Sons, we have guests! Sons? How are you feeling? Fine. Oh, good. Where'd you go? Well, humans had come and- What? Humans came here? Why... Uh, why didn't you wake me up and tell me? Because you're still recovering? Duh! By Zendine with you at least. Manners. This is MK. MK is a bit out of sorts at the moment. And this is... Um... we? This is embarrassing. I don't think I caught your name. Asriel? My name is Asriel. Uh, nice to meet ya. Asriel. Well, I'm going to bring MK to the spare room. Perhaps you and Asriel can chat for a minute. Uh, you want to sit down, kid? You look like you got something to get off your chest. No need to be nervous. I don't bite. So, what's your story? I don't know where to start. Sandwich? Um, thank you. How about I start instead? Where'd you come from? I have a feeling you're not supposed to be here. We're not... We're not from this world. Yeah. Can I ask what world you're from then? It's almost the same, but... Not quite. Alright, how'd you get here? We walked through a mirror, or a portal. I don't know what it was, or why it was there, but it led us here. We tried to go back, but the door that led to the mirror disappeared. We have no way of contacting our families back home. Now MK's hurt, and... I don't know what to do. 
Brisk, our friend, they were taken by the humans. We have to get them back. Frisk is a human, right? Uh, how'd you know that? Do you know Frisk? Sorry, I don't. It was just a hunch. But, uh, listen, crossing the humans' territory is, well, it's a very bad idea for monsters. It could be almost impossible to get Frisk back without someone getting hurt. Or worse. Are you saying... You're not telling me that we should just leave them, are you? I'm sorry, kid. I don't know what to tell you. But... You know, they're with other humans. It won't be so bad for them. Those humans aren't their family! We're their family! We have to get them back! Frisk would do the same for us! Okay. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this for you. Unless you have a way to cheat death, they will kill you. Believe me, we've tried to reason with them. Humans have been taught by other corrupted humans for hundreds of years to never trust monsters. No matter what we do, humans see us and our actions as harmful. Perhaps you've already seen this side of them. But it's possible we could... I mean, I can't promise anything, but... All right, in case old tucked in, and I'd set up the bed in the same room for you, Azrael. I think it would be best if you also went to rest for a while. We can talk more about this tomorrow, okay? <sighs> okay. Let me show you where... No, it's okay. I know where to go. Wow, he's been here for ten minutes and you've already upset him. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I think we need to discuss something, perhaps. They're okay. They've been through a lot. This is a big mountain. I'm sure they have just gotten lost somewhere. I do not think so. You listen to the Skeleton Brothers, right? Both of them saw the children turn the corner, and they disappeared without a trace. There is nowhere for them to go. There is nowhere for them to hide. Not even Dograsa and Dogami could find them. Their scent just stops around that corner. Their phone is still not working. They could be anywhere. I cannot do this again, Asgore. I cannot lose my children again. Tori. We'll find them. I can feel it. Asriel is okay. I know you can feel it too. Surely the others are also unharmed. You underestimate Asriel and Frisk. We need to be strong for them. Hi guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a new video. Enjoy!